Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like in the video for some good luck for AMC. If you want to see some all-time highs like I do, make sure to please drop a like in the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading discord. Inside the discord, you'll find real-time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time, and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades, and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. We do have some new updates on the controlled, quote unquote, controlled short squeeze for AMC. This is referring to the new regulation, the NSCC 2021010. This rule is simple. It means when the hedge funds close out their shorts and the mother of all short squeeze starts, they can give their long positions from other stocks to the clearinghouse as collateral for cash to pay for their losses. This gives the hedge funds a way out or at least a way to sort of soften the blow from some of the trades they've made and gotten a little bit over their head. This way, it doesn't tank the S&P 500 and the rest of the market stays localized somewhat. Because think about it, guys. If these hedge funds were forced to cover their shorts for AMC, for example, they would have to get the cash from somewhere. The idea is that they would have to sell so many long positions, such as many stocks that make up the S&P 500, in order to cover for this. So, so with this rule, it stays sort of localized. Probably because there's going to be an actual crash after the mother of all short squeezes. This is good for two reasons. One, it means that the mother of all short squeeze won't ruin the rest of the market to a degree. And it means that major banks like, like BlackRock who are benefiting from the mother of all short squeezes won't lose their other large positions. And it means that Gessler is about to burst and rain money everywhere at any point now. So I did come across this Twitter thread that had some interesting ideas in it. It's from Finn Watchdog. He said... For those talking about a controlled short squeeze or crash, I do see that as a possibility between the monster NSCC rule that was released and some other federal guidance I've read through. I've seen asset exchange as an option, but at the same time, I do expect the actual crash to be very quick compared to historical market crashes. Improvements in technology and all the new measures from the DTCC indicates regulators are trying to minimize fire sales and maximize acquisition of defaulting members. And going through some of the top tweets about the NSCC 2021, you get more of an idea of what the community is thinking. This Twitter user says NSCC 2021-010 is not a controlled squeeze. The gist of it is that they are trying to prevent a market crash when the squeeze happens. Nothing about the squeeze will be controlled except that hedgies have to cover. We also have a good thread regarding the NSCC 2021-010 from Kringle Kitten saying this might be the nail in the coffin to ensure the biggest wealth transfer in history. NSCC is creating security financing transactions or SFTs for their clear members at risk of defaulting. These endangered members would be able to park their long positions as collateral in exchange for a fixed amount of cash upon which the NSCC would be able to get interest from. With the loan cash, however, they would be able to cover their debt obligations. However, if these members default from the shorts and not being able to pay up, the NSCC would be able to keep their long positions first transfer of wealth from institutions to retail. Now, that is key there, guys. This could be the biggest shift in wealth transfer in a long time, maybe ever. The idea that these hedge funds are going to be putting up a lot of their long positions, which again, equal billions and billions of dollars, and basically think of it as a pawn shop. When you go into a pawn shop, you can bring in some old jewelry, maybe like an electronic. You give it to them. They give you a small loan, basically, that you pay interest on. And if you're not able to go back to the pawn shop and pay off the loan within a given amount of time, now the pawn shop now owns your good, which in this case would be the long positions, and you end up with nothing. This would effectively prevent the markets from getting affected at this stage like a flash crash. This would allow hedge funds to be indebted to the market and being on the hook with the NSCC. There was a rule of the DTCC and its affiliated organizations, not sure which one, that they can create private off-market auction bid even for non-clearing participants to sell long positions of defaulted members. Example, 25 million shares of Apple being sold at 80% of today's price. Or 85, going once, going twice, sold. This would be 
This would enable big alpha players to come in like BlackRock, Vanguard, get tons of shares in the fraction of a dollar without affecting the market's volatility. Henceforth, the second part of the biggest wealth transfer in history, a market correction may be quite possible. No firm would allow big positions to create unbalances in their portfolio. They have duties towards their accredited investors. Eventually, those big firms would sell the surplus at 100%, the market price towards the exchange for a profit, on top of shorting them as well for two birds with one stone. The prices of these long positions would fall over a long period of time with the gradual sell-offs. Example, instead of one day 50% market crash, we might see a minus 50% market correction over the course of several months. On top of that, the SRDTC 2021-011 enables the DTCC to shut down clearing participants' infrastructure if they are deemed to be a threat in the midst of a market disruption event. Also, the DTCC and its underlying organizations are not held liable to cover debt obligations from defaulted members. So who's on the hook? The rest of the clearinghouses and banks. And of course, the government won't allow the banks to default as they are practically the owners of the stock market. The speculated market correction might be expedited depending on how the market will react to the market. Man, oh man, this is crazy, guys. Imagine if this meme stock saga is really all it actually took to change the entire world. The fact that the NSCC is creating these SFTs now, I mean, this is going to be crazy to see it play out. I do think that this is great news for the AMC holders. I do also think that this might be not so good of news for the general market. I'm very interested and sort of worried to see how the rest of the market reacts to this news once this news and information is more publicly known. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else going on with AMC, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, like this video for some good luck for AMC. And finally, if you guys haven't already, make sure to join our private exclusive Discord server. It's the second link down in my description, but make sure to join fast because we are only accepting a few more members. So, so get in there before it's too late. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.